Good day viewers, this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exams tutoring, ensuring that you ace your next exam still on the business of alternative B for wire chemistry practical, talking about quantitative analysis. Like we've said in our previous lecture video, uh, we've looked at our titration table, we've looked at the average title value, and we've concluded we are going to be using 24.60 cm cube or 24.67 cm cube. We have another probable question as you can see on your screen, but do not forget the link to previous lecture videos that directly relate to what your exam question should look like is in the description of this video. So what uh, can our question as well look like? This is a... Uh, um lecture video three for quantitative analysis so we were given a question here uh d here is uh hno3 and um we were given the concentration as 0 0.095 mole per dm uh cube and uh, e here is a solution uh containing 13.50 gram per dm cube that's mass concentration there but this time around we we're talking s to co3 dot 10 is true that's decahydrates you can see now we are not talking about sh2o we are rather talking about x to co3 and um in this case we we're told to put d into the bread and titrate it against 20 or 25 uh, cm cube portions of e using methyl orange as indicator when you use methyl orange here Methyl orange in S to CO3 is yellow. Uh, but at the end point, that's when you begin to run in your trazonitrate 5 acid. There is going to be a color change from yellow to a light uh, a pink at which point you stop. Uh, we've actually, you know, done all of that. And uh, we've concluded, we've tabulated our readings, as you can see in the table displayed on your screen. Uh, the link to that lecture video where we have our table and we've calculated the average volume of the used is in the description to this uh, uh, lecture video. So we're going to tablet our readings and calculate average volume of D used. We've done that. Now B, from your result and information provided above, calculate the concentration of E in mole per dm cube. We are looking for the concentration of E. Our VE, that's volume of E is actually the volume of the pipette, which is 25, uh, from the uh, equation, as you can see in that uh, question, you know, from the equation, you have two moles of HNO3 being used. You've been given the equation from the question, and you have one mole uh, of E used, of S2CO3 decahydrate being used here. So for the very first question, we were told to look for CE. So if we use the... Uh, normal formula CD uh, VD over CE VE equals to what? ND over NE. Since we are looking for CE, we can make CE the subject. So what that means is that CE equals to CD VD NE divided by uh, VE times ND. So that CE equals to what is our CD here? Our CD here is zero. Point zero nine five times what is our VD twenty four point sixty? What is our NE one? All divided by VE here is twenty five times what is our ND two? So CE here, if we compute this from our calculator, we're going to get zero point zero four. 7 mole per dm cube. So that just answers that. So that's B1. Uh, let's move to B2. For B2, as you can see in the question uh, on your screen, we were told to look for the molar mass of S to CO3 in gram per mole. We're looking for, this is B2, molar mass of S to CO3 dot 10 is 2 O. So normally molar mass is actually concentration in gram 
per dm cube divided by concentration in mole per dm cube so the molar mass here is going to be 13.5 divided by Condition in more part could be a 0 0.047, 0 0.047. When we compute this, the molar mass is going to give us 287.2, uh, yes, 287.2 gram per mole. Yes, 287.2 gram per mole. We've been able to uh, get that. If you look at the next question, this, we're going to look for... A B3. We're going to look for the percentage by mass of X. Percentage by mass of X in X to CO3 dot 10 H2O. That is what we were told to look for. And of course, this looks uh, pretty uh, direct if you look at it. S2CO3.10 H 2O is actually equals to 287.2 because that is the uh, molar mass that we have calculated here. That is the molar mass that we have calculated here. So what that means is that X times 2, this will give us 2X. Carbon is 12. Oxygen is 16. 16 times 3, 48. 48 plus 12, that's... Uh, 60 plus water is actually 18 18 times 10 that is 180 equals to 287.2 so what this means is 2x equals to 287.2 minus 240 so what that means is that 2x equals to uh 47.2 so which means that our s2 here we're looking for the parent by mass of x but since x is happening twice 2x equals to 47.2. So percentage of x by mass of x is 47.2 divided by out of what? 287.2 times 100. And in this case, you're going to get 16.43%. So that is the percentage by mass of um, x in x to CO3 dot 10 h 2 o on to uh b4 that's question roman figure four uh that we are going to be answering that verbally we were told to give reason uh, for certain this is the first question uh, the, the first question here says give a reason for the following why is it that uh, we will uh, give a reason for using a small quantity of medicator during acid base titration you know the quantity of indicator we use during acid-based titration is always about two or three drops. And what is the reason uh, for this? Say, for example, when we add two or three drops of methyl orange in here, it is going to be yellow. And by the time we run in our D, that's our acid from the B rate, um, a two, three drops is of the acid is just enough to change the color of the old mixture from yellow to pink. So the reason why we are using a very small amount of indicator here is for us to obtain a sharp and clear color change at the end point. To obtain what? A sharp and clear color change at the end point. That is why we use very small quantity of indicator. Also, we're going to give a reason uh, for obtaining at least two sets of reading for titration experiments. As you can see on your screen, this is our own table, which we've used uh, to perform this experiment. You can see we have the rough titration. We have the first, we have the second, we have the third. Why are we repeating this titration uh, readings during this experiment? The reason is very simple. It is for us to get accurate title values. That's to get accurate volume of the acid uh, used. Uh, or what you call to obtain concordant titers. That is the reason for uh, repeating this. And with that, we have come to the end of uh, this uh, question, talking about probable question that you can have in your alternative B, Y, chemistry, uh, practical. In case you're not clear about anything or you have questions to ask, 
you can as well send a dm to the whatsapp line uh, displaying on your screen you can as well check us out on our website at uh, 300 plus academy.com the very first thing you're going to see uh various whatsapp group just link up with us on any of the uh group uh send your questions to the admin i will attend to your every questions from myself and the entire team it's bye for now